Because see, they do a lot of this head shaking. I'm guessing about seven, eight pounds. Oh, can you get it in? Beautiful. That's a beautiful Whoa. brown. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala Premium Fishing Gear, crafted from experience. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Dickies, guaranteed workwear since 1922. Lucky Strike, more fish bite with a Lucky Strike. Bob, this is awesome. You know, this is my good golfing buddy, Bob McGowan, and he actually lives in my neighborhood, comes and bugs me all the time about exactly, golfing. Exactly, yes. And Bob, this is the second time that we've had a chance to fly fish together. Yes. Yesterday, you had some irregularities with a nice rainbow, because we should tell the viewers that we were down here just playing around to see if the yeah. trout were in. And this morning, you got the first fish on. He's fighting pretty good. It's a nice little brown trout. Yeah. Now, you told me that you used to fish. W which uh, province or state you were in? Idaho or somewhere? Well, I'm down to did Yellowstone, Montana, Wyoming. We now, did that. now you can include New York. And Alaska. Right. And <laughs> this, Alaska. Is, this is tremendous. Tremendous fishery. Well, it's quiet today. You know, I look yep. upstream. Usually you see rods bent. Yep. It's kind of neat. You look into the sun and it's this is classy. You got the abutments up there and guys fly casting all the way down. Yeah. It almost reminds me of that movie, A River Runs Through It's, it, you know? uh, it's gorgeous, Because you can yeah. see the line, come, like the yeah. water coming off the line. And it's nice because this time of the year, we get a chance here of getting rainbows or browns. Yes. So this looks like it's a nice little brown. Yeah, nice one. See if you can just bring it in gently. We're gonna get it in this cradle, here. and then I'll kneel down on this nice bottom. Just be careful yeah, just, on that bottom. Yeah, oh yeah. No, no, we don't want to trip. Okay, here she comes. Beautiful colors, a little male. It's a gorgeous little fish, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's got lots of spunk. Of course, yeah. he's gonna start thrashing. Going. Wait till he okay? settles down. Yeah, just gotta get his head turned around. And we're gonna let him swim in here, head first. See if you can I'll kind turn of, him this that's way. You got him. it. You got that's him? it, I think Beautiful. I got him. Yeah. I got him, perfect. Beautiful, there we go. Well done. You know, I was Thank downstream you. You. with Roger, because I've got Roger Cannon here, and I didn't see one fish hooked down there. Roger had one on, but he lost it. Any size? Um, it was a rainbow, I'm guessing about seven, eight pounds, and he hooked it right where you were fishing yesterday, where you had yours on. Right. If you don't mind just holding that cradle like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. we're going to do this as teamwork. You know, over the years I've used a lot of devices because I release most of the yeah. fish I catch, and this cradle is kind of one of the nicest things because the fish just um, quiet right it's down. It's a great idea, isn't it? It's now calm. I'm going to try just holding it so that the viewers can see that little fly right in the side of its mouth. Yeah, you that's hooked a it perfectly. Beautiful fish. Now you said it was small, but yeah. you know most guys that yeah. fly fish, yeah, they'd catch fish like this all day long. I'll take no fish like about this. It. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, if you ever want to know what the best bait to use when you get to maybe a tributary or even a lake that you haven't been to before, always go into the lo local tackle shop. They'll have the right stuff. Man, he wasn't going to get off. Okay, yeah. so there's yeah, your fly, there. and I'm going to let you do the honors and hold this fish up in a second. Sure. As soon as everything is uh, loosened up here, let me make sure your fly's pretty here because it kind of got Still spun around. Yeah. Still in one piece. You just might have to fix it a little bit. Yeah. You know, there we go. There we go. We got nice tail action. Okay, I'll yep. hold the cradle. If you can get one uh, hand maybe right there, the caudal peduncle. Your peduncle. Uh, yeah, I've been taking lessons from John here. And then smile. I don't know if you want to say hi to Sue and the kids. Hi, Sue and the kids. <laughs> <laughs> nice brown. This okay. is beautiful. Having it's a gorgeous. great day. Don't yeah. tell anybody I'm not at work. Shh. He's not golfing. But this is great. Okay, and he beautiful. should just take beautiful. off. Watch this. He's going to disappear into this nice green water. Bobby did great. Okay. Now, I know well, you're usually thanks. on the lake. You don't do yeah. any fly fishing up on Sturgeon yeah, Lake, do you? Very little river fishing. But I do fly fish on the lake. Yeah, bass fishing. A lot of bass fishing, a lot of top water. Okay. Big bass bugs. 
Well, John, who's another friend of ours, and he may get a fish a little bit later, got a pike here yesterday, yeah. which is kind of unusual because most of the time when you have trout and salmon that are in a system like this, the water's pretty cold. Yep. I just wanted to show them, Bob, this fly. Yeah, you know, because yep. it's kind of neat. This is a fly that's actually classic when you're fishing tributary streams. And I gotta watch my step here because the bottom is kind of soft. Now look, this fly doesn't look like much. Does that look like much? It looks like a piece of lint with, uh, this is probably a 164th ounce weight that's on there. So a lot of the flies that the tributary fishermen are using are weighted flies, either with one bead from a bead chain or um, weighted eyes, like on a Clauser minnow, or this kind of a configuration. Now, this doesn't look like much, but watch if I put it in the water. It comes alive. That's actually what the trout see. I'm gonna try turning it, look at that. So I think, they think, it's a minnow. Because what Bob is doing here, he's got a strike indicator only about a foot and a half up, and he's literally swimming that fly like that across the water. Doesn't that look appetizing? So when it's in your hands, it doesn't look like much, but it's, when it's in the water, it just comes to life. Yep. Bob, well done. I yeah, may come thanks. up here and work this water with you, yeah. Yeah, and maybe even get, not. I mean, not on top of you, you know, it won't be to the left yeah. or to the right, yeah. because down below, some rainbows have rolled, but I haven't seen any cotton. There's some yeah. gear fishermen yeah. that are using eggs, and they haven't hooked the fish either, yeah. and he just lost the fish. Dickies, sport fishing sweepstakes. My wife Nicole and I went fishing in our canoe, and after catching a couple of, of walleyes, my line became very tight. I knew right away that I had a good sized pike. But it was too big to put in our landing net, so I grabbed him just under his gill plate cover and hoisted him into the canoe. Took a couple pictures, I slipped him back to the water and released him unharmed. What a great fish. We'd love to hear your fishing story. Go to our website and enter the Dickies Sport Fishing Sweepstakes. It's free, and you can win some great prizes.